Hello, this is Ozair here battling Mahdi Zihani once again, once again, in a double battle this time because, you know, he's always like, oh, you may be the king of single battles, but I'm the king of double battles. Well, I finally raised a team to take him on in a double battle, and this is what it happens to be. Yeah, yeah, there is duplicate Pokemon with duplicate items, but hey, just look at this. Cobaline, legendary. Dialga, legendary. Zapdos, legendary. Landris, legendary. And Ho-Oh, legendary. Five legendaries on his team, two of those being Ubers, okay? I'm sorry, but I use duplicate Pokemon with duplicate items. But only outcoming to be fair. So here we begin. And uh you are challenged by Ash. Yeah. Okay, so I was, you know, training a little Pokemon, Eevee training them, and I came across a wild shiny Eevee, which is why the second Umbreon is here, named Midnight. The first Umbreon I had in my Pearl, and I didn't necessarily, no, and so I started in my Emerald, and I didn't necessarily, well, nickname much back then. But a lot of, oh, sorry, sorry about the background sound, but a lot of these Pokemon are well, shiny, because, you know, I shiny hunted like crazy back in my pearl. And, um, here we go again. Being the little kitty is sending out strongest he has first. Well, not the strongest, but, you know, both, like, steel types and not, you know, knowing that they're both super weak to earthquakes. But lucky, because Loomer is a grass type and low on health and stuff. I know, I know, grass type is not very, is like, uh, well, taking on-ish. I don't know what to say. It's good against uh, for taking on earthquakes, but hey, it's at 104 health and whatever. Okay, I I just didn't want to kill him. And Razor was low on health too, and stuff like all this crazy stuff. And so yeah, which is why I did not happen to use an earthquake, but did use an Exeter. I don't know what I was thinking. It, it's just didn't come to me that he was smart enough to switch. It just, it just didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> so I used the drain punch on him too. Just not expecting to switch. I don't know what was wrong with me at that time. But, hey, both poison heal and both toxic orbed. This, let me, let me just say one thing. Razor is surprisingly defensive. Surprisingly defensive. Let me, let me just say that again. That surprisingly defensive will come in later for realizing how surprisingly defensive he is. I mean, really. Four times, he does go for the Joe Prack four times a week to Loomer, sadly. Loomer is gone. That is one down, and she still has six. So currently it's five to six. I dodged his amazing, um... Stone Edge, because, you know, he's smart and no one uses non-accuracy moves, but then again, I'm pretty smart and I use non-accuracy moves, like Rock Slide, for instance. But then again, there's not really many Rock-type moves that are full on um, accuracy, unless you use, you know, Ancient Power, and Annihilate does happen to know Ancient Power. Sadly, you know, I'm stupid again and did not predict the switch, because I'm not used to him switching, but what I'm not stupid about is Annihilate knowing... Earthquake uh, and uh, Annihilate being a flying type, and Razor, the Earthquake guy. So, I can Earthquake, they're both weak to it. He wants to save his Dialga for later, and he sends out his Landorus. Thank God I did not use that Thunder Fang on the Landorus, but I'm kind of sad because it would have saved the Thunder Gem, I'm pretty sure about it. He does use the thon uh, Stone Edge, he does hit, but then again, Razor is surprisingly defensive. So Razor takes it on like a boss, and then we go for another Earthquake, sadly not affecting Landorus. This Landorus survives quite a while because well, I'm fa focusing on attacking the other guys, and this Landorus is just hanging around in the back. <sighs> I don't know why he, he, he double-switched into his... Yaga, switching and, you know, 
and uh, annoying me and tricking me. Sadly, Annihilate does not know any flying type attacks. Meaning I should get rid of either Crunch or, oh god, that completely ruined the camera sight. I should get rid of either Crunch, Rock Slide, or uh, Ancient Power, but oh well. Ancient Power right over here really gets me mad that he doesn't die. His Aptos does not die to an Ancient Power from a, a uh, oh, then again, Ancient Power is special. Oh, but then he can't learn Head Smash. Well, Razor finally died. He did happen to use a Thunderbolt on Razor, not knowing his part ground type. Oh my god, so smart. He thought he was part rock. Well, then again, his Blastoise, if he had used it, would completely destroy me. So I go in for the rock slide on both of them. And they both get hit, and I send out Umbreon because I'm low on turns. This is actually, let me just say one thing, one of the shortest Wi-Fi battles I've had yet, being only 12 turns. My last battle was like, oh no, before it, my first battle against him was like 28 turns. Then after that was like 30 turns. Now it's only 12 turns because I'm pretty much a good attacking team. He does, I do go for the rock slide, his blaze again does dodge it really sadly, but I get the critical hit and take out the landers. I did not survive pretty long for when I start, finally started like unconsciously attacking it. Goes for a Flare Blitz, even though he knows that Aerodactyl is part rock because, well, but again, he does not have any fighting type moves on a fighting type Pokemon. Who does that? I have no idea. Goes for the Ho Oh, his second Uber, his fifth legendary. And I go for the Rock Slide, thank God, hitting both of them. Please again, being part rock does not take full damage like he should, but, well, I mean, neutral damage, and, but Ho-Oh, being four times weak to it, being fire and flying, dies in one hit. Now, Toxic sadly does miss, but, eh, I don't really need a stall to beat him, like I usually do with Umbreon to beat this, uh, Blaze again. See my other, uh, things, I, you, if you see my other battles, I use the same Umbreon to stall out his, uh, Blaze again and slowly defeat him. This time, I defeated him pretty quickly in 12 turns. That was a battle. Thank you for watching. Look, I just realized I did not even touch Ampharos in this battle. So that's pretty cool.